lot of us think that our life and our business are separate, but if, if you're struggling in life, business is struggling. If you're struggling in business, it leads over into life. So I help you process what the root cause of the gaps are and then merge them together so you can literally live the life that you crave. Because I don't know about y'all, but we're not building these businesses to create another nine to five or to create another slave ship, right? And the biggest thing that I see is that we are comparing ourselves to others, which then causes imposter syndrome. Raise your hand if you heard of that little I word, imposter syndrome. Okay, cool, almost the whole room. So let me explain what it is. It's the inner critic telling you that you're not enough, you don't belong at the table, and you're literally a fraud. Everybody's gonna find out that you really don't know what you're doing. Anybody felt that way before? Keyword, feeling, right? It's a feeling and not a fact. If you guys have a worksheet, it's literally homework. We're not gonna be writing a worksheet right now. We're gonna be fully present. But you have a tool to take home with you. So when you are having those feelings versus facts, you can process them. Because this is the thing. Many times we take the feelings and we act as if they're facts and that dictates our behavior. I'm not enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not going live because I stutter, I got a gap. Whatever your imperfections that you feel they are, I want you guys to know that your story is your glory. And everything that we've been running from, like unresolved trauma, childhood junk, crazy mama, crazy daddy, crazy baby daddy, whatever it is, did you know that people are waiting on you to show up and incorporate that into your brand? Because that is what attracts and repels. So I want you guys to think about your future self. And this is called your lifestyle 2.0. At the end of the day, when you guys go to these conferences and you're listening to all these big wigs, Grant Cardone, Oprah, ET, they're talking about mindset. They're not talking about nothing with business, right? Because you can make the millions, you can reach a six-figure milestone. But if your mindset is still lacking, then the business gonna be slacking. Of course. <laughs> course. Right? And we bar. Look, don't hype me up, because I'll be doing this. Okay, I'll be doing good. So I want you guys to literally think about okay, lifestyle 2.0, the future me. Because sometimes the current self is literally hating on the future self.